Hey guys, I'm just continuing straight on from the previous video. So we're now up to finding the unknown displacements. Uh, we find that just by expanding this first matrix out. So we're going to have Q known equals K11 D unknown plus K12 D known. So multiplying this row by this column would give us K known. Now we know the D known matrix, this one here, are all zeros. So that's just going to eliminate, leaving us with this here. If I were to write this out, the K known matrix is minus 18, 50. That's going to equal the K11 matrix, which is over here. So 1, 2, 8, 0, 0, 7, minus 60, minus 60, 6, 6, 7 outside of the D unknown matrix, which is D1, D2. So we're going to solve this to find D unknown, which would be the inverse of K11, K known, our Q known. So to find this, we would have D1, D2 equaling, so the inverse, um, this is an advanced video, so I'm going to assume how you know to find, how, that you guys know how to find the inverse of a two by two matrix. So it's going to be 1, 2, 8, 0, 0, 7, by 667 minus minus 60 by minus 60. So that's the determinant. Swapping these around. So 667, 128007, 60, 60, putting minus in front of both of them. So that would be the inverse of K11 times by the Q known minus 18 and 50. And if you were to solve this, so this row by this column, this row by this column, and dividing through by whatever number we get down here you would find that D1 and D2 equal minus 0 0.000011 meters and 0 0.0750 radians. So just to remind you what these are, displacement one is along node one. So now we're getting a displacement of negative 0 0.000011 meters. In other words, we're falling. This support is gonna go down that amount and D2, it's rotating by 0 0.0750 radians. So this is rotating around there, about zero, around 0 0.750 radians. So as you can see,